Europe. Serbia's legacy of aggression, the European Union must act now. While the European Union remains cloaked in the shroud of diplomatic words, the turbulent history of the Balkan Peninsula bears witness to a series of wars that have left indelible scars on the region. In this article, we aim to shed light on the conflicts that ravaged the Balkans, identifying the aggressors responsible for each war. It is imperative to delve into this historical chronicle, grounded in facts and narratives, devoid of personal opinions or subjective stances. By understanding the complex tapestry of Balkan conflicts, we endeavor to contribute to a more comprehensive comprehension of this region's turbulent past. The wars in the Balkans in the 1990s were a series of bloody conflicts that resulted in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people and the displacement of millions more. The wars were sparked by a complex mix of factors, including ethnic nationalism, religious tensions, and economic rivalry. However, there is a consensus among historians that Serbia was the primary aggressor in all of these conflicts. The war in Croatia, 1991-1995, began when Croatian Serbs, who were supported by the Serbian army and government, declared independence from Croatia. The war ended with the defeat of the Croatian Serbs and the integration of Croatian territory into the Republic of Croatia. Over 20,000 people were killed in the war, and over 400,000 were displaced. The war in Slovenia, 1991, was a brief conflict that began when Slovenia declared independence from Yugoslavia. The war ended after 10 days with the withdrawal of the Yugoslav army from Slovenia. Over 60 people were killed in the war, and over 20,000 were displaced. The war in Bosnia and Herzegovina, 1992-1995, was the bloodiest conflict of the Yugoslav wars. The war began when Bosnian Serbs, who were supported by the Serbian army and government, declared independence from Bosnia and Herzegovina. The war ended with the Dayton Accords, which divided Bosnia and Herzegovina into two entities, the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Republika Srpska. Over 100,000 people were killed in the war, and over 2 million were displaced. The war in Kosovo, 1998-1999, began when ethnic Albanian rebels in Kosovo launched an insurgency against the Serbian government. The war ended with the intervention of NATO, which bombed Serbia until it agreed to withdraw its forces from Kosovo. Over 10,000 people were killed in the war, and over 800,000 were displaced. The wars in the Balkans were a tragedy for the region. The loss of life was staggering, and the economic and social damage was immense. The wars also left a legacy of bitterness and mistrust that continues to this day. It is important to remember the victims of the wars in the Balkans and to learn from the mistakes of the past. The European Union must play a leading role in ensuring that such atrocities never happen again. Dear Europeans, It seems that you have a short memory. The aggressor in all the wars in the Balkans was and will always be Serbia. We demand that you act immediately and impose strong sanctions on the Serbian nation and population. This will show them that the Balkans are free of them and that we are not afraid. We are stronger and bigger. Do not cowardly try to use diplomacy. Use sanctions and take away the right of free movement of Serbians in the European Union. This will force the Serbian government, a terrorist government, to back off from its neighbors. Close the Serbian border for the economy and the air border for six months. You will see how this terrorist government changes its ways. Enough is enough.